return here to the Kansas Speedway for race number five of the 2010 IndyCar schedule. I'd like to go to space, be an astronaut for a day. Not a bobsled driver. Definitely not that, I can, I can say that. Football player, because what would it be like to get hit that hard and what do you say to each other out there? And I mean, we know in golf and stuff, they're probably not talking smack, but in football, I bet they are. I'm an FBI agent. Why? Because I, I always wanted to be a cop and I would like to boss people around. If I could be anybody or anything uh, uh, for one day, I have to say it would be Roger Penske. Imagine you have great family, great life, and everybody respects you in the whole world. Come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> Scott, what about you? Well, besides being Elio Castanevis and a three-time winner of the Indy 500, I guess I'd like to be a hockey player playing in the Stanley Cup Game 7. A lot of pressure, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. Well, that makes sense coming from Canada. Well done. All right. We have mentioned the fact we have four ladies in the field. There's Sarah Fisher. And we could potentially come the month of May at the Speedway have five. Anna Beatrice could be a fourth member of Dreyer Rainbow. And look at the international flavor today. Venezuela, Switzerland, the USA represented amongst those four talented female drivers. We caught up with uh, Danica Patrick, Vince Welch, uh, just a few moments ago. Vince? Well, this is the first oval of the IZOT IndyCar Series season, but uh, not for Danica Patrick. She's run four oval races already, ARCA once, and uh, three NASCAR events. What, if anything, translates from those races to what you're going to have today? Uh, well, you know, I mean, the, the cars are completely different, but the fact that I've already done eight races and half of them being ovals and nobody else has done an oval race yet, at least to what I know anyway. Um, you know, it's uh, it's just good good practice, um, just staying in the car and and being sharp. And, um, you know, I I think we've put the GoDaddy car in a position to do something good today. I, I hope things work out for us. We're in it to win it, you know? You said that you were looking forward to getting back onto the ovals after the road and street course uh, results. A little more pressure today on the oval to get a strong finish? Well, I... I definitely feel like this is my my place to shine a little bit more. Um, you know, it's always so nerve-wracking going into the oval races because on oval on an oval the practice is done, but then the race is where you really do really all the action comes in. And on a road course, all the practice is where it happens, and then the race is just the race, and it's very follow the leader and very much just about maybe saving fuel. So um, I'm nervous now, but I you know it's no different than any other. Danica Patrick, she'll start ninth today, Marty. All right, thanks, Vince. Here are the numbers for uh, both Danica and uh, Simona. As uh, Danica's best finish was seventh, Simona 16th, although Simona did lead laps at the first race of the year back in Brazil. This, of course, being her first career oval race today. Let's meet the young lady from Switzerland. Hi, I'm Simona Di Silvestro. I'm from Thun, Switzerland. Swiss Miss is kind of a, my nickname right now. I don't really like it personally, but you know, uh, if people want to call me like that, it's fine. <laughs> my dad told me that when I was a baby, I was only quiet when the Formula One races were on TV. So uh, I think as soon as I was born, uh, I kind of uh, really liked motor racing. When you're in the smaller series, you always think about Formula One or Indy cars, and now being in Indy cars just kind of happened, which is a, a really nice achievement, I think. This year is my first year that I'm actually racing against other women. I've never done that in the smaller categories. I was always the only one. You know, Danica is in this series, which uh, she's kind of, you know, the most known of us. It's really great to be competing against her, but. You know, it's not my focus to be uh, all the, the girl drivers, pretty much like all the other 24 drivers I have to be. Leading uh, my first laps in the series was uh, in Brazil uh, in the beginning of the year on the first race. It was uh, really special to me. Simona de Silvestro, she is shown as the leader. We actually had a restart and I was leading and I had Dario and Ryan behind me, so I had a bit of pressure there, but uh, I think I managed pretty well. My goal for this year, it's really kind of to learn uh, as much as I can. This is a very confident woman and somebody to keep your eye on. To win a championship or even the Indy 500 is, is a goal, you know. I think it, it's everybody's goal out there, but uh, I'm really pushing forward to try to do that. 
Simona De Silvestro inside the cockpit and the goal today, Scott, just get those laps. Well, I get the laps on the oval, but everybody is impressed with her in the whole garage area, especially after taking off the restart down in Brazil and pulling away from very experienced drivers that were behind her. A very impressive run for this young lady. Well, as you can tell, we're getting ready to go racing. Coming up next, we'll get the command to fire engines and get race number five of the 2010 series schedule underway. Back here at Kansas Speedway as the excitement continues to build for this race with 27 cars in the field. In fact, we'll give you the starting grid across the top of your screen. And you already know that uh, Ryan Briscoe will be on point as we uh, take the green flag. But there is one of the two cars going to the rear, the 26 of Marco Andretti and also the number four of Dan Weldon. What happens is the white line here is out of bounds and drivers were told even in qualifying, you go underneath that white line your time will be disallowed. Both of those drivers did that. There's the white line, and uh, they're both going to be starting further back in the field. Now, for Weldon, he came back in 04 at Richmond. He was 20th out of 22 cars to win the race, and he has a great track record here at Kansas. Two-time winner when he was driving with Target Ganassi Racing, and two other times. This guy finished second here, and, I mean, it was incredible because if you total the two of them, it's a tenth of a second that he lost those two races by. And very impressive run, and I think that's what gives him the confidence today to start from the rear, Marty, because when I spoke with him down at the driver's meeting, a lot of confidence. He knows he had a good car because he was up to third, but for Dan Weldon, a very special driver, and look, look at here, 2005 and 2007. Six. He was very, very close. And then 2007, eight, first place. Not a great run in 2009. Had some difficulties, but a driver that understands his racetrack. By a tenth of a second, he could have been a four-time winner here. Now, one other distinction that he has, he's in a selective group. And you're seeing a lot of historic video, A.J. Foyt amongst this group. As you see all these wonderful drivers, Bobby Unser included, remember this. Each one of these won the race prior to the Indianapolis 500. Mario Andretti in that group as well as uh, we mentioned Dan Weldon and he was the last to do it back in 2005. Al Unser Jr. of course in this group and there is Dan as uh, he was drinking the milk just a few weeks away. Can he do it again today? This, could, this is going to be fun to watch him come from the rear. Well, I think the thing for him right now is he's going to team up with Marco Andretti, who was also put to the end, and those guys were talking in the driver's meeting, and he, Marco he said, I'm just going to follow you, Dan. Well, a 27-car field is about to get the command to fire engines. Remember, this is a 1.5-mile oval, totally different track than what we'll see at the end of the month at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. But the one thing you can take out of here is momentum. And that's what you want heading to the biggest race of the year. Let's go trackside to get this started. Speedway race fans, are you ready? It's time for those most famous words in motorsports. Please welcome the Senior Director of Finance for Time Warner Cable, Sharon Lindenbaum. Drivers, start your engines. <laughs> Control row one, hot. Row two, hot. Three, hot. Four, hot. Row five, hot. Six, hot. Seven, hot. Eight, hot. Nine, hot. Hot. Eleven hot. Twelve hot. Thirteen and fourteen hot. Copy all engines are running. And that's exactly what that process is. The IndyCar officials getting the word that all 27 cars have fired. Now, there is uh, Dan Weldon. He is going to also serve as our in race reporter today. Let's see if we can talk to him, Scott. Dan Weldon, Scott Goodyear up in the booth here. Outstanding record here at Kansas. Couple of wins, two second place finishes. You're at the back here today, though. Can you get up to the front and win this event? Yeah, absolutely, Scott. I think uh, the National Guard Panther Racing team did a phenomenal job. Um, we've been working hard over the winter. We've been really competitive everywhere we've been. And uh, we'd like to continue that. We had a... Uh -oh. 
So he's stalled the car. You can see the starter going in the back.